I'm just about to do a video on how to pick the perfect boot and I'm at Kicks. Check it out on YouTube coming out tonight. Hey guys, like I said on the Snapchat, if you're not on Snapchat, add me, Progressive Soccer, or the username is Soccer Training. Find me on Snapchat. We're here at Kicks. I'm picking out some new boots. If you've seen some pictures of uh, my recent shoes, they're torn to shreds. It's time that I get some new boots. So we're here at Kicks. I actually used to work here when I was younger. Let's go inside. So yeah, I used to work here when I was like in high school. Just to mess around here, playing long balls through the halls. Come on over, take a look at some boots. This is Dom, he's gonna help us out. This guy's one of the best defenders in Calgary. So come and check it out. So they got a nice selection here, actually. Sometimes I've come here, there's been like four boots on the wall there. Eh? But this is good today. Um, so these days, I don't like, everything is so flashy. You can't even find a black boot these days. But I'm gonna check out a couple things. And uh, I think he's got a couple set up for me. So we're gonna take a look at a few boots. And then basically I'm just gonna talk about uh, what I look for when I'm picking that boot, just to make sure it's the perfect fit. Okay, so he's gonna bring it out. First things first, I brought my own socks because you don't wanna try, I don't have soccer shoes without soccer shop, without soccer socks, or else you're not gonna get the right fit. Thank you. <clears throat> so what do we got here? Do you know what they're called? Magistas, some Copas, classic Copas. Cool, perfect, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of leaning towards a couple already. So I'll try on the other ones first. But let's go with the Copa. And a lot of you are asking, like, I'm a defender, which boots should I get? I'm a striker, which boots should I get? To me, I don't think there's a specific boot for each position. It's just what you think is best, what feels best, what's the best fit. Nowadays, boots are just getting lighter and lighter. So, although when you get stomped on, it might hurt, that's probably the way you want to go because you'll be quicker on the field. You'll feel a little sharper. I've uh, grown up wearing these and I think they are great boots. This is probably the most durable boot you can find. It will probably last you the longest. And that's the Copa. Okay, so when I'm uh, picking a boot, I'm just trying to see if it's a good fit. What's a good fit? Come in here and just take a look at my toe. <clears throat> you want to just like a little room. I want to feel my toe up here. And this is actually a really good fit but you still want a little bit of room so you can actually wiggle your toes. If you're putting that on and uh, your toes right at the front and you can't move it around, that's probably too tight. Okay, so whatever your um, walking shoe is, let's say you walk around like your street shoes are a 10 and a half, you probably want to try on a 10. You want it a little tighter than your street shoes because if you're loose in there and your feet are moving around, it's gonna be hard for you to cut and accelerate and be quick and have good reactions around the field. Okay, so you want it nice tight, but like I said, I want to be able to wiggle my toes there and I want to feel a bit of space, nothing too much. Okay, so I would usually come and I'd put these uh, boots on. These are actually really nice boots. They're a lot lighter than they used to be. And then make sure you actually try them out. Okay, so. First of all, I would just walk around in them, see how they feel. Comfort is huge. You don't want to wear a boot. It's going to be pinching your feet, giving you blisters, even if they look cool, okay? It's not worth it. Comfort is number one. But I would just walk around and then usually I just try cutting. How does it feel to change direction, okay? So change direction. Just moving around, maybe get a couple touches. Actually feel the boot out. Does it feel good when you make that touch on the ball? Okay. I don't really like the synthetics, like this sort of thing. I don't really like that. I don't feel like you get the as good of a touch as you do with the leather. Leather feels way nicer when you're controlling that ball. 
That's just my personal opinion. Again, don't take my recommendation. Take what you think feels best on your foot, gives you the best touch, feels the nicest to wear. Okay, so that's basically what I look for. I'm going to take a look at these boots myself and I'm going to make my decision. make my decision and then I'll tell you guys what I think before we leave. As soon as I came in here, I saw these, I liked them. But it's very important that you're not biased with your decisions. So if you've already made up in your mind that you want this boot and then you try it on and it actually doesn't feel that good and it's not the best fit, then that's very important that you're honest with yourself and you swallow your pride and you focus more on what feels good and what's going to allow you to perform the best on the field rather than what looks cool. Okay, so let's try these out. I'm hoping for the best. Oh, and it does feel nice. I like these new, uh, these new era of boots with the ankle brace built in. Feels like I have more support. If you saw some of my other videos or my last, those pictures I've been throwing up on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Progressive Soccer. But it's the same style boot with the ankle thing and I think it gives you a little more support. Maybe it's just a mental thing, but it feels good to me and I like it. So let's try these out. feel pretty good. I'm trying not to be biased, but my toes are there, I can wiggle. How's the touch? Can I strike them all? So I decided to go with the Mercurial Proximo. And let's just recap why I decided to pick these boots. Number one, I came in, I took a look at all the boots, and I didn't talk about your budget. Maybe you have a smaller budget, so you can only look at a few boots. But in the end, you wanna think about, although I may save some money today, if I buy a cheap boot, I may have to end up buying three or four pairs of cheap boots instead of just buying one pair of more expensive boots. Okay, so think about your budget, what kind of money do you have to work with, but in the long run it might be better to invest a little bit extra so your boots last a bit longer. Um, I focused on the right fit, so remember if I walk around in like a 10 and a half, then maybe a 10. This is actually a 10 and a half, but it felt right for me. Okay, so if you can try those little half sizes even, trying on those different half sizes may, might make a big difference. The biggest thing is comfort. Like I said, I don't want to be biased. I did catch these, these boots did catch my eye and I did like them. 
but I didn't want to be biased about that. They have to feel comfortable. They have to feel good, especially when you're cutting, when you're changing direction. You don't want your feet slipping around in there and the touch has to feel good on the ball. So if these boots check all those boxes, then I think they're a good pick for you. Um, and it's also good to try on a couple things because you might be surprised which boot actually feels the most comfortable and which boot you prefer. All right guys, thanks for watching this video on how to pick the best boots. Watch out for me wearing these in my next videos and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Please remember to like, comment, and share this video with your friends.